So good morning to you all. Um, today is the 7th of April. Um, the time now is about, I think it's about 10 to 8. So I'm just quickly eating my breakfast and I'm going to drink my coffee. Um, today's a work day, so I'm going to be heading off to work in a minute once I've finished my breakfast. Um, I had a few thoughts regarding this transformation video. And I'm going to keep it brief because I am running, well, I'm not running late, but I don't really have much time in the morning. Anyway, last night was really, really hard to sleep. I was like, I think I got to sleep at like 2 o'clock in the morning. And I just really couldn't sleep. Um, and I've just noticed that recently, and I say recently, it's been more sort of since I got back from my holiday, that my sleep, my sleep schedule hasn't been that good. I've been waking up really tired and I'm just feeling general fatigue really. Um, and I know that in the past when I've got to this point, I've taken a deload week and it seems to help regulate my hormones and, and whatnot. So I think that's what I need to do, which is really annoying because I know I just declared that I'm going to do this uh, six day transformation. So I'm going to put that on, on pause, put the brakes on that for a week. And I say a week, it won't be a proper week. It'll be seven days. So days a week, it will be six days. Um, so yeah, six days I'm going to take out from the gym. I'm going to track what I eat, um, but I'm not going to be too worried about the calories. More concerned about meeting my macronutrients. Cause I do want to maintain what I've got at the moment. So yeah, I definitely will be tracking my macros. But as I said, I'm not going to be as concerned about being in a calorie deficit for the next six days. So just to show you what I've had to eat this morning, um, I've just had or nearly finished some um, oats with um, a little bit of strawberry jam in there. And now I'll just wash it down with a little bit of coffee. So I'm um, just on my way to work. Uh, so yeah, just to reiterate what I said earlier today, hopefully you can hear me okay. Um, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking the next six days off Sorry about the sign and also sorry about the volume. Um, we'll be taking it six days off from the gym. Um, just to give my body a little bit of time to recuperate. More from a hormonal level, because um, what I'm finding is that I'm not sleeping particularly brilliantly and I need to get that regulated first. Because the thing is, if, if that's not in place, then there's almost no point in me going to the gym and putting stress, unnecessary stress on my body. Um, I won't get the effects I want, so I have to have to get my sleep in order, get that in place first, and then I can work on it. So six days off, so today I'm going to work now. Um, when I finish, I shall go shopping, and also I want to get my car washed today, so nothing exciting, but I'll take you along with me. All right, all right, so. The time is 4.30 and I have finished work. Um, I say 4.30, it's probably closer to 5 now. I finish at 4.30. I know for you guys it's been like a couple of seconds. <laughs> Not even a couple of seconds, like a second. Um, but yeah, today was so tired this morning. Really, really struggled to, um, to get going really. So definitely, definitely, definitely happy that I am going to take the day off from the gym because I, I need to on my sleep schedule and I think the extra stress of working out and dieting and all that sort of stuff is probably not the best for my hormone levels so yeah so I'm gonna go home now um, get changed and then I am going to wash my car um, and get some food get some shopping for the week because I'm completely out of everything and the great thing is because I'm not really really monitoring my calories um, it doesn't really matter what I get I can get anything I want really uh, which is cool so anyway I'm going to keep this clip nice and short till the next one alright guys so changed and ready to head off um, so yeah so like I said gone ahead and get my gonna head to the car wash get my car cleaned which actually i'll show you in a minute it's not actually that dirty but the reason why i clean it now is because in order to keep the paint work in good condition you want to make sure you keep a layer of wax um, on the car and if it regularly rains 
Um, you do wash the, the wax off. So, even though I'll probably wash it and it will rain tomorrow, I'm still going to get it washed because I want to protect the paintwork for the future. See, as you can see, it's actually not that dirty at all. Um, but yeah, as I said, if I want to keep it that way, keep the paintwork nice and white, I want to regularly get it cleaned. All right, so just got to the car wash. Um, wasn't able to get anything to eat before I got here, which is really, really annoying because I'm starving. But oh well, such is such is life. So yeah, I'm just gonna get this, get the car washed, and then um, I think I'm just gonna have to go and get something to eat because I'm really, really hungry. I can't even think straight. And truth be told, actually, something just comes to my mind. Another tip for any of the young ones watching this, if ever any young ones watch this, watch this. Never go to the supermarket hungry because you'll end up buying stuff that you didn't, you definitely won't need. So, yeah, I'm I'm so hungry at the moment. I'm definitely going to get something to eat as soon as I finish it. All right, so that was a complete waste of time. Um, I went there. Basically, I've used that car wash before, and last time I went there, they took card. This time, they don't take card, and I have no cash on me. So, I sat through all that traffic for nothing. Lesson learned. Um, yeah, I won't make that mistake again. But yeah, I'm going to get something to eat because I can't even think straight. So I'm going to get something to eat and then I might leave the washing the car today until maybe tomorrow. I'll see if there's another car wash near Asda. Alright guys, so I've just got to Asda, which you can't see around there. Um, but before I go in, I'm just going to uh, finish my meal. So basically went and got me a Coke. Side salads and McDonald's, which I probably won't eat now. Well, this is the main event. I've got me a grilled chicken sandwich with salsa. So basically, the reason why, obviously, I went for the salsa was to reduce, obviously, the fat. You can get it with mayonnaise, but I wanted to reduce the fat. Um, and then the reason why I went for this as opposed to fries is because if I got fries, I know I would eat them. Um, and I do want to have some chips later with my dinner. So I thought, you know what, I'll try and save some fats um, for that. And obviously Coke, I didn't bother going on the diet. I just went with the full fat. So yeah, and I'm going to eat this really quickly and then rush into Asda, get some food and then get back home. All right, people in the YouTubes, um, I have walked home. I don't know if I've actually filmed the video since I've got home, but basically all I've done is put some food in the oven um, and just sat down really. Uh, yeah, I'm actually feeling tired, which I know it's really weird saying, but it feels so good because literally I would say over the last week, I haven't felt tired at this time at all. In fact, I felt so alive at this time. Um, but yeah, like, I feel quite, I feel tired. I feel like, yeah, I'm, I'm coming down, you know, um, which is just great because hopefully that means but that by tonight, 9, 10 o'clock, hopefully I'll be really tired and I'll be able to get to sleep and get a good night's sleep because today was, <laughs> today was not fine. I tell you, I really struggled. I would say from about 10 till 12. Man, I don't even know if I was making sense. I was literally falling asleep with my eyes open. It was, yeah, not good, not good. So tonight, hopefully I get a good night's sleep. So as I said, I've got some food in the oven at the moment. Um, if you can hear that, it's just some water with some ice. I bought some ice today in the, in the market, in the supermarket in Asda. And I've, I don't usually buy ice. I hate buying it, but at the same time, it makes such a difference. I'll get through water so much quicker if it's ice cold. So, yeah, um, a little bit of a tip: if you if you don't like drinking water, maybe try ice cold. Ice cold. If you're anything like me, it just makes it so much better and actually quite enjoyable. Alrighty, guys. So, um, I have just put all my food together and made a, a meal. Um, it actually it actually looks really good. So, if I just share with you what I'm eating, and I'll probably put the macros um, for what I'm eating here in the description. Oh no, I won't put it in the description, I'll just put it in annotation at the bottom. Um, but yeah, here you go.
All right, so as you can see, a few potato chip, potato chips, a few fries or wedgies, whatever you want to call them. Got some broccoli. And then what I have here is a concoction that I've made before. Basically, it's got some chicken in there and a bit of pineapple and some cheese. Probably doesn't sound too good, but it tastes absolutely amazing. Now, this meal is very high in carbs and it's going to be high in calories as well. So obviously it's not the sort of meal you'd have when you're um, when you're cutting. But as a bulky meal, I think it's actually not too bad at all. Um, yeah, so I'm going to enjoy this, sit down and watch a little bit of TV. Um, and yeah, and I'll see you in the next clip. So guys, thank you for watching so far. Um, I'm going to end the vlog here. Uh, I'm very conscious of the times of these vlogs. I want to try and keep them underneath 10 minutes because I know it gets a bit boring if they're too long. Similarly, you don't want them too short because you want to try and get to know me and whatnot. Um, I just want to say I've enjoyed making these videos and it's a bit scary because I know no one hasn't watched them yet. I haven't had any views um, and I'm actually getting a bit, not a bit worried, but it, I'm not looking forward to the day where someone that knows me watches them. But at the same time, who knows? It'd be quite nice for someone that doesn't know I make these videos to come across it on the internet. Um, so if that's you watching at the moment, um, hello, whoever you are. Yeah, I do this. I know it's crazy, but hey, that's me. You know me. So yeah. Um, anyway, guys, like I said, thank you for watching. Please, any advice or criticism you have about the vlogs, what I'm doing, please let me know right in the description. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Uh, you've been helping me out loads. I really want to make this work. Really enjoy doing it. Um, and once again, thank you for watching and I hope I see you in the next one.